this is TJ. In this video I'm going to be covering 10 of the most useful free graphic design programs out there. Uh, these programs are free to download and use and most of them are open source. The first program I'll cover is Blender. Blender is a 3D animation program. You can draw and manipulate uh, objects in 3D space. Um, this program is comparable to 3D Studio Max. Um, like I said before it's free and uh, this is also an open source program. Uh, and uh, uh, it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good program. It has kind of a steep learning curve. Um, you can make some uh, animations or just a, a regular three-dimensional image with it. The next program is GIMP. Uh, GIMP is a program similar to uh, Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop, uh, and it's just your regular uh, image manipulation program. You can do all kinds of different effects. You can work with layers. I'm not going to spend too much time on these. I just kind of want to show the interface so you can get a feel for uh, if it's something you'd like to download or not. But this program is full featured and you can really do a lot of cool stuff with it. The next program is Google SketchUp. Google SketchUp is not an open source program, um, but it is very useful and it's free to download and use. Um, it's really easy to draw things quickly with it. Um, if you kind of have some ideas, especially as far as uh, designing architecture or uh, anything goes, uh, it's it's pretty useful. Um, it also has a feature I like where you can uh, upload uh, you can upload your custom picture and use those textures to create your model. Uh, see, kind of like I'm showing you here. Um, the next program I'm going to talk about is Inkscape. Inkscape is a uh, programs uh, similar to Adobe Illustrator and it lets you draw uh, custom well you can draw things from scratch or you can import uh, already existing f uh, image files to, to, to trace or to do what you want with but uh, this one of the great things about this program is uh, everything that you draw uh, everything that you draw is done in a vector image so it's the file size is going to be pretty small and uh, you can also scale your image without losing image quality. And so, uh, yeah, again, I can't spend too much time on this, but uh, this is probably one of my favorite open source programs. Okay, next program I'm going to be covering is Pix Resizer. I'm not going to pull this program up, but it's uh, basically just a uh, you can resize pictures. But the, the best part about it is you can do batch resize, which means if you have a hundred large pictures in a in a folder you can select that entire folder and tell it what size you want to re to reformat them to and also you can reformat them in in a different uh, from jpegs to bitmap images if you want or a different uh, file format so it's pretty useful the next program is uh, scribus or scribus this is a desktop publishing tool and uh, it's got a lot of good uses especially if you do a lot of uh, print uh, desktop publishing or print design. Um, this is this actually isn't the, the actual program. This is just something that was made in it. Uh, and this image was actually made in Inkscape, but the this is just a book I made, a guitar music book that I made in in uh, Scribus. So it's a pretty cool program. I like it a lot. Shape Collage. This program is uh, lets you take a bunch of pictures and build them into a collage like this. Uh, you can the shape doesn't have to be a circle. You can do it in the shape of a letter. You can have as many or as few pictures as, as you'd like. Um, you can also create your custom uh, shape of, of whatever the picture is going to be in. Uh, it's a pretty cool program, pretty simple. Um, the next one is Synfig Studio. Um, you could sort of compare this to Adobe Flash, the animation side of it anyway. This is just it's a 2D animation program. It's sort of designed for the advanced user. Uh, it also has a steep learning curve, but you can do some some pretty um, quality work with it. Uh, sort of a simpler version, if you're looking for a 2D animation tool, would be Pencil. Pencil is uh, kind of reminds me of just the Microsoft Paint program with an animation uh, with some animation software to it. So you can draw a simple picture and then animate it. It also incorporates layers. You can have um, vector graphic layers and bitmap layers. Uh, so it's you can do a lot of stuff with it. But it's not as powerful as, as a lot of animation programs, but it's pretty simple to use. And the final program I want to talk about is Texturizer. And Texturizer lets you take an image like that one we had up in GIMP and you can uh, turn the whole image into just text or a combination of text and the image. And you can sort of play around with the 
uh, different variables there and you can change the size and color and what the text says so um, yeah it's just kind of a, a little tool to help you with if you want to do some different effects to images uh, these are the uh, open source and or free graphic design programs that I, I wanted to share with you today uh, please see my other videos on audio video design uh, and also uh, just regular uh, good miscellaneous free software so appreciate you watching and don't forget to rate thank you